be ready 5 seconds this judgment shall dispose of a batch of writ petitions that have been filed assailing the legal propriety of the judgment of the additional district judge in respect of appeals filed before him by the occupants of 45 shops in the red fort of which 37 shops are under the lease of the mcd and 8 shops are under the lease of the ministry of defense all the shops are situated in what has historically come to be known as the mina bazar the genesis or catalyst of the eviction of these shopkeepers in the complex is stated by the respondents to be traceable to the decision of the division bench of this court in a public interest litigation titled as society for protection of heritage and culture versus union of india and others the division bench had directed the union of india to remove all the kiosks canteens and other encroachments in the outer barbican and the periphery of the red fort it is alleged by the respondents that the court's directions also covered the mina bazar but this is not forthcoming from a perusal of any of the orders passed in that pil even stronger reliance has been placed on behalf of the respondents on the opinion of a learned single judge of this court in messrs safari airways versus the estate officer and others in that case it had been held that it is not necessary for the estate officer to disclose the material on which the decision that the petitioner was an unauthorized person was predicated it is now too well settled that every state action in order to survive must not be susceptible to the vice of arbitrariness which is the crux of article 14 of the constitution and basic to the rule of law the system which governs us arbitrariness is the very negation of the rule of law satisfaction of this basic test in every state action is sine qua non to its validity and in this respect the state cannot claim comparison with a private individual even in the field of contract this distinction between the state and a private individual in the field of contract has to be borne in mind in these circumstances the writ petitions are allowed and the impugned order of eviction passed by the estate officer and affirmed by the adj is set aside this decision could have been arrived at without alluding to the proceedings under the pp act by simply exercising the extraordinary jurisdiction of this court under article 226 of the constitution however it is necessary to record the opinion that wherever complicated questions arise the authorities should refrain from initiating proceedings under the pp act and should instead take recourse to the ordinary civil proceedings the mcd should have terminated the lease in accordance with law since the petitioners possess the legal attributes of a tenant the mcd cannot be a judge in its own cause 
and adjudicate upon the legality of the notice.